the heck are you doing? It is Black Friday. People are always getting like trampled and stampeded. So I'm doing this so we can sit inside safe and sound. Inside? Yeah, inside. Son of a bitch! Welcome to Ask the Mead Maker, where I, Ricky the Mead Maker, answer your questions about mead making, mead drinking, mead brewing, really any questions you're willing to send to me. And we have been getting a lot of questions recently. I just wanted to put it out there, if I don't answer your question the week you send it, don't worry about it, it's in the queue, I am going to get to it. Our first question this week comes from Tanya, who wanted to know whether mead is okay for the paleo diet. Now I did not know what that was. So I looked it up in the Encyclopedia Britannica, and it was not in there. I don't know why I spent all that money on that CD-ROM. Anyway, Rebecca looked it up on Wikipedia, and as far as we can tell, no. Mead would not, strictly speaking, be okay for the Paleo diet, since many people define the end of the Paleolithic age as right about the time when humans figured out fermentation. Kyle sent us a whole bunch of questions, and we'll answer a few of them this week. The first one was very interesting. Can you distill mead? The answer is absolutely. There's a company here in Vermont called Caledonia Spirits, which is doing just that. He also wanted to know whether distilled mead has a special name. And the answer is probably not, at least not one that is widely accepted. Kyle also asked a few questions about aging mead, mostly about how it changes the mead itself. Is it important? How long should you age it? All of these questions are up for an enormous amount of debate in the mead making community. Yes, the flavor changes, and we have a full article about it that will be linked in the description. All right, now it's time for a plug. If you're looking for the hottest party in Vermont, December 13th, Midwinter Festival, 2 to 10 p.m. here at the Meadery. This party will have everything. A hog roast, bonfires, live music, wassail. What's that? Wassail, you know, it's that thing where when you drink enough of it, you look at it and go, what's, what's, what's in the ale? Recently, we've been consulting with a lot of breweries who are trying to get up and running commercially. And a question that comes up over and over and over again is, can I make a braggot? Now, for those of you who do not know, a braggot is a mead that also contains grain. And the very simple answer is no, they cannot be made. If you have ever seen a braggot for sale on the market and a few breweries are doing it, they are lying to you. A braggot by definition is 51% honey or more for the fermentables, and a brewery would not be allowed to make that. A meadery is not allowed to use a single ounce of grain in any product they make. So there you have it. If you want to brag it, you're going to have to brew it at home, or the law might change. Anyway, that's our last question of the week. I just need to send it over to Ricky with our word of the week. Ricky? Thank you, Ricky. This week's word is wassail, which of course does not come from whatever he says, but rather from thus hail, be well, a salutation in Old Norse. It is a mulled beer, wine, mead, or other alcoholic beverage, often with a little more alcohol added. It is the root of our term wassailing, and what is in my mug. So that is the word of the week. Keep sending your questions, and I will get to them as soon as possible. Cheers.